good morning children today we are going to continue the problem in exercise 6.2 okay in exercise 6.2 we are solving the problems based on algebraic identities what are the four main algebraic identities we are using here have you read it yeah a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b these are the four main identities we are using and solving the problem in exercise 6.2 in our previous class we have completed up to the fourth problem i hope you all did the problems well and understood it yes now we are going to solve the next problem in exercise 6.2 problem number 5 in further we for the problem also we are going to use the identities only okay but in different way more solving we are going to see in this problems now problem number 5 solve 3x is equal to 63 square minus 36 square solve what is this solve solve means we have to find the unknown value what is the unknown value here x so we have to solve this given x Expression and we have to find the value of x. Okay. So how we are going to use the identity and how we are going to find the value of x here. Okay. First, uh, to solve it, first I am taking 63 square minus 36 square because 3x is equal to 63 square minus 36 square. If I solve this only, I will identify the value of x. Okay. For the first, I have to solve this 63 square minus 36 square. How to do this? It is in the form of which form it is? a square minus b square what is the formula a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b now if we change this in the form of that we will be having 63 minus 36 into 63 plus 36 have you remember 63 minus 36 into 63 plus 36 what is 63 minus 36 what is the value of 63 minus 36 it is 20 7. If I subtract this, we will be having 27. If I add this to number, what is the value? The value is 99. Okay. Instead of squaring and subtraction, we are doing just using the identity a plus b, a minus b, just we are getting the product of the two numbers. So the value is 2673. The value is 2673. Okay. Now we got the value of this side. Okay. 63 minus 36. But the question is to solve for x. We have to solve for x and we have to find the value of x. Okay. Now, 3x is equal to, instead of this value, we can replace this now. 2673. Okay. Instead of 63 square minus 36 square, we found the value as 2673. I replaced it. Now, I want x. Normal algebraic solving, you know, no? to find x here, 3 into x. 3 is multiplied with x. I need only the value of x. So, how to change it? x is equal to 2673 by 3. We have to divide by 3. If we divide by 3, see, 8 3 is at 24. Remember, get true. So, 9 3 is at 27. 1 3 is 3. So, 891. So, finally, we got the value of x as 891. Okay, so solve, if we get solved this, we have to find the unknown value in the given expression. Here the unknown value is x. So to find x first, we have to solve this side. 63 square minus your uh, right hand side, we have to solve. For that, I am taking the value separately and we are using the identity a plus b into a minus b. So simply without making the square subtraction, we got the answer as 2773. Now, 3x is equal to 2673. We need the value of x alone. So, 3 is multiplied here. It comes to the next side of the equation. It comes under division. So, if you divide this number by 3, we got the value of x as 891. Okay? Yes. Now, see the sixth question. What must be added to 4x square plus 12x plus 5 to make it a perfect square? What does the question here? What must be added to this given expression? We have to add some, maybe the number, some term we have to add so that we have 
to make the given as a perfect square. We have to make the given as a perfect square. Okay, perfect square means it should be in the form of square. Okay. Now, uh, see here what is the given question? 4x square plus 12x plus 5. Here all the terms are in plus only. Okay, if it should be in the perfect square means either it should be converted in the form of a plus b or a minus b whole square. But here we are having the terms, all the terms are positive only. Surely it can be written as a plus b whole square. Square, we should make it as a perfect square now. So I am going to convert this question as a plus b whole square. For that, which term should be added to get as a perfect square? We have to identify that term. So I am going to expand this as just in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. In that we know which term is missing here. So that we are going to add that term and make it as a perfect square. Okay. First term we find we need as a square. a square plus 2x the whole square. a square can be written as 2 square, x can be written as x square. So 2x the whole square. Plus 2ab. This term is 2ab. If I split for 2 into a. What is a? 2x. See here 12 is there. 2 to sub 4. The remaining value what we are having here? 3. So that we will get 12x. If we plot on this, it will be getting 12x. 2 to sub 4. 4 threes are 12. That I am splitting in the form of 2 into a. I got 2a means the remaining 3 will be the b. But here for b square we are having only 5. Okay. But see the first two terms a square plus 2 into a into b. B is 3 means the square of b will be 9. But we have we are having only 5. Here we are having only 5. So we are adding plus 4. We are adding plus 4. Now see that 2x the whole square plus 2 into 2x into 3 plus 9. Okay. The 9 can be written as 2x the whole square plus 2 into 2x into 3 plus 3 square. See now a square plus 2ab plus b square. It is satisfied now. So totally this question can be written as 2x plus 3 the whole square. If we expand this, see we are getting this 2 to some 4x square plus 2 3 are 6 to some 12 x and 3 3 is a 9. So what number we added here? What term we added here to make it as a perfect square? 4. So we have to write the conclusion. Thus 4 should be added. Should be added to make it as a perfect square. To make the given uh, expression 4 x square plus 2 x plus 5 as a perfect square. See? After adding 4, the expression we have the last constant becomes 9. So that the pressure is changed. Here the pressure is changed as a perfect square. So the number 4 should be added. 4 must be added to the given expression to make it as a perfect square. Okay. So if any question given like this, means just expand in the form of uh, see the uh, sign first. Okay. Which is possible. A plus B whole square, A minus B whole square. If we expand it, we know the missing term. Just identify the missing term and add to the given expression. So that we can make it as a perfect square. Okay children. Now we will solve the next problem. Now see the seventh problem. It's find the product A minus B into A plus B. A square plus B square. A power 4 plus B power 4. We have to find the continued problem of this question. Okay. How to find this using identity only? By seeing the question itself you can get in your mind what the identity we have to use. Yes. First we will take the first two. Okay. If we consider the first two. A minus B into A plus B. Actually this is directly equals to the identity. This directly says what identity it is. A plus B into A minus B. Which is equal to A square minus B square. Which is equal to A square minus B square. So, if I replace this two term by a square minus b square, next term, we have to multiply the product of this term with the third term. So, product of the first two term is a square minus b square. Now, we are going to multiply with the third term. What is the third term? a square plus b square. Again, see the question. It is in the form of a square minus b square. a square plus b square. It also resembles this identity uh, a plus b into a minus b. So if I write a square minus b square, a square, a is here, a square. In place 
place of a here we are having a square. So a square the whole square minus in place of b we are having b square the whole square. So the product of this two terms is a power 4 minus b power 4. Okay. Now we want the product of first three terms. We are going to form the uh, multiply this product of first three terms into the fourth term. So what is the product of first three terms? a power 4 minus a uh, b power 4. a power 4 minus b power 4. The product of first three terms into fourth term. What is the fourth term? a power 4 plus b power 4. This is the fourth term. Again see the question given this. This is the form of a minus b into a plus b. Instead of a here we are having a power 4. So you try to write a square. That is a power 4 the whole square, b square, b power 4 the whole square. Okay, so see using only one identity, only the product particles here. Okay, but you have to be careful in writing the terms. Here directly we are having a plus b into a minus b. So we wrote as a square minus b square. Here also it is in the form of a plus b, a minus b only. But in the place of a, we are having a square, b square. While squaring, use the exponent rule. Okay, use the exponent rule a power m into n equal to a power m n. We have to multiply. So to resolve 4, to resolve 4. So the product of first three terms into the fourth term. Again it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. Instead of a we are having a power 4. So a square minus b square. Okay. Second use the exponent rule. What we wrote here? Use the exponent rule here. The same exponent rule. a power m n. Okay. So 4 to a. So we got a power a minus b power a that is the product of a minus b into a plus b also a square plus b square into a power 4 plus b power 4 the product of the given is a power 8 minus b power 8 ok now see the 8 problem simplify we have to simplify and find the answer ok before that see the question 2x minus 5y the whole square plus 2x plus 5y the whole square. It is in the form of a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square. Isn't it? So what we have to do? We have to first expand the question then only we have to find it. Okay. Now first I am considering 2x minus 5y the whole square. 2x minus 5y the whole square. What formula we have to use here? What is the identity? Yes. Now remember two identities. A plus B, the whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. As well as the next identity, A minus B whole square is equal to A square minus 2AB plus B square. Once remember this to identity. Okay. Now, if we expand this, it is in the form of second identity. A minus B whole square. So, A square minus 2AB. A into B plus B square that is 5 by the whole square. If we do the direction to resolve 4x square, to resolve 4 is 4 by the 20. So minus 20 x y plus 5 by the 25 y square. We expanded the first one. Likewise, take the second 2x plus 5 by the whole square. It is in the form of first identity. A plus B the whole square that is A square plus 2AB that is 2A is 2X, B is 5Y plus B square that is B is here 5Y square. Okay, so see here in this question A is equal to 2X, B is equal to 5Y. We are replacing using the identity. Okay, now to resolve 4X square, to resolve 4, 5 plus 20, so plus 20XY. Plus 5 by 20 y square. We know the expansion already for many problems we did it in the same way due to using the identity. Okay, separately we got the value of the x uh, minus 5 whole square and x plus 5 y the whole square. Now what they are asking? They gave addition so that we have to simplify. Add the two terms and simplify. So if I do this, 2x now, 2x minus 5 y the whole square. Plus 2x plus 5y the whole square. Shall we have Shall we have these expressions? Yes. What is the first one value? 4x square minus 
plus 25 y square. In middle, we are having plus, so plus of second term, 4x square, plus 20xy, plus 25y square. See, we are having the uh, expression here, any like terms, yes, we are having 4x square, 4x square, the same variable. The next like term we are having here, 20xy, 20xy, also this two are the next like terms, 25xy and 25 Okay, so see in this we are having plus 20xy minus 20xy, so they will get cancelled. The remaining are in all the positive categories, so we have to add and give the final answer. 4x square plus 4x square, if I add the coefficient for both are 8x square, if I come in 4x square plus 4x square, then 25y square plus 25y square, 25 plus 25 is 50y square. So the simplified form of the given expression what we got here 8x square plus 15y square. Okay children? Okay. Now we will solve the next problem. Now see the 10th problem in this exercise. If x minus 1 by x is equal to 9, find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. They gave x minus 1 by x is equal to the value is equal to 9. Using that, we have to find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. How to find it? Again, we are going to use the identity and we are going to find it. Okay. Now, consider x minus 1 by x. Use the given so that only we can find that now. What I am going to do is that we are having the square values. So, I am going to take x square on both the side. So, x minus 1 by x, the whole square is equal to 9 square, just I am taking the square on both the sides. We know that this is the form of a minus b the whole square. Okay, so if we use the identity a minus b whole square, what is the identity? a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Here, instead of a we are having x and b we are having 1 by x in this given question. So substitute that. Okay, so if I expand this a square, that is x square, minus 2ab minus 2 into x into 1 by x plus b square that is 1 by x the whole square is equal to 9 times 81. See here x and x will get cancelled the remaining is x square minus 2 plus 1 by x square is equal to 81. What we have to find x square plus 1 by x square. So if I remove this minus 2 the left side of the equation, so x square plus 1 by x square, minus 2 goes that side, it will come plus 2. So we got finally x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 81 plus 2 is 83. We got the value as 83. So see the given also to find. Okay, understand what identity we have to use. So if I take x square on both sides, surely I will take the terms of x square plus 1 by x square. So only here we took square on both the sides. Using the formula we expanded it. Okay, we need the term x square plus 1 by x square. So minus 2 because that side becomes not a plus 2. Finally we got the value of x square plus 1 by x square as 83. Now see the 12th problem. One number is 6 less than the other. If the difference of the squares is 72, find the numbers. Here what they are saying, they are speaking about the two numbers, one number is less than other by 6, also the square of their difference is equal to 72. So here we have to find the numbers, two numbers, we don't know the what are the two numbers here. So uh, we are going to get let x and y be the required numbers. Okay, we are taking x and y, we don't know that, so we are giving the variable name with uh, x and y for the required numbers. Such that, we are going to make under the condition, uh, such that x greater than y. Because here they are speaking about what is the difference of uh, 6 less than other, also the square s is equal to 72. So we are taking the x as the greater number, y as the smaller number. Okay, so by given condition. What is the first condition given here? One number is 6 less than the other number. That means surely the smaller number should be 6 less than the greater number. We can't take a 
x is equal to y minus x because x is greater than y. Also, they gave the condition one number is six less than the other number is smaller number should be six less than the greater number. So we are getting y is equal to x minus six. This equation can be written as if y goes to plus x plus y goes to minus y. Plus six comes here to the right side it comes as minus x plus six. So this equation can be written as x minus y is equal to six. Make this as equation one. Okay. Now uh, make this as one. Now the rearrange equation as two. Okay. Also the next function given in this question is the square of the two numbers. The difference between the square of the two numbers is seventy-two. So the difference between the square of the two numbers means the greater number square minus smaller number square is equal to seventy-two. Okay, in words they gave here yeah, the difference of the entire squares is seventy-two. So the difference of the entire squares is the number squares. So x square minus y square is equal to seventy-two. By saying this, you can get an idea in your mind. What identity you have to use is x plus y, x plus y into x minus y is equal to seventy-two. Now see this equation two. So that we got from the given condition, we got x minus y is equal to six. Shall we replace by six here? Is equal to seventy two. Okay. Now, what will be the next step? We are having x plus y six here. So six goes that side. It's a multiplication of goes that side comes under division. So x plus y is equal to one six six six. Let me do one. That is twelve. So two six are. Twelve. We are getting the answer twelve. So we do divide by six. The answer is twelve. Okay, but we want to find x and y the number. We are here having x plus y is equal to twelve. By solving this much, we got x plus y is equal to twelve. So what we have to do? We are going to make use of the equation one. What is equation one? Y is equal to x minus six. So just replace the value of y as x minus six. So x plus X minus six is equal to twelve by equation one. We are using the equation one here. Then how to rearrange? X plus x minus six is equal to twelve. That is two x is equal to twelve plus six. Two x is equal to twelve plus six is eighteen. So x is equal to eighteen by two. So what is the value of x we got here? X is equal to nine because nine two is eighteen. Okay, we got x. How to find the value of y? Again, make use of the equation one. Okay, so again by equation one, if we replace the value of x by nine, we got y is equal to nine minus six. So y is equal to three. Nine minus six, we got y is equal to three. Therefore, the required numbers x is equal to nine, y is equal to three. We got finally x is equal to nine, y is equal to three. So, whenever the question is given in the form of statement, if any unknown variable is this, let first give them the variables. Okay, then go according to the condition given in the question. Here they give two condition. That is, this one number is six less than the other number. So we are taking y is equal to x minus six, and the difference of the square, that is x square minus y square, is equal to seventy two. Just using the identity and using the equation one, what we have. So not simply using the identity. Students, means if you want to find the mean of the marks, means we have to add all the marks of the students at 
divided by number of students that will give you the average or mean mark of the class okay here we are we have given for 3 and plus 11 observation the mean is 5 and square minus 2 find the sum of all observation so first the formula is we have to find the sum okay sum of all observation sum of all observation by number of observation by number of observation the mean is calculated using this formula okay so uh, mean or average is calculated as sum of all observations by number of observations for this what are the values given here they gave the value of average or mean also the number of observation just substitute here what are the values we are having average what is the average given in the question 5 and square minus 2 see the mean of number of observation average is so the average is given as 5 and square minus 2 which is equal to sum of all observation we don't know okay so keep it as sum the average as sum simply now number of observations what is the number of observation in this given question 3n plus 11 number of observation is 3n plus 11 what they are asking find the sum of all observations so we have to find this sum how to rearrange this and find it so we can take sum of all observation is equal to 5n square minus 2 5n square minus 2 if it goes here it goes under multiplication so 3n plus 11 now by saying this you know that this is a product of do not use the identity here it is a product of binomial integer binomial just multiply and get the answer okay so how to multiply 5 n square minus 2 into 3 n divided we are having plus so plus 5 n square minus 2 into 11 so find the product multiply and find the product 5 3 is a 15 n square 2 3 is a minus 6 n the same way 5 into 11 plus 55 okay yeah, here we are having n square into n no? so the value is n cube 5 3 is a 15 n square into n plus n cube that is 6 n 55 n square n square minus 2 into 11 minus 22 so what is the final answer any light terms here no light terms just write in the order of power so 15 n cube plus 55 n square minus 6 n minus 22 so we got sum of all observation we got sum of all observation sum of all observations is equal to 15 n cube plus 55 n square minus 6 n minus 22 so whatever the questions you are having are the number of observation and the mean or sum of observation for the number of observation is given and number of observation is given mean is as well as just use this single formula and you can find the answer so with this we have completed our exercise 6.2 the exercise 6.2 is clearly based on the identities only okay so again recall i'm saying again to recall all the four identities clearly and you'll be receiving the assignment